Welcome to my first video with 10,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Oh my goodness, I'm looking at my channel going, it says 10k! Yay! Actually, I'm looking, I've got 10,002 subscribers, so welcome, welcome. If you're newly subscribed to my channel, thank you. Um, yeah, what a good day. So it's new catalogue day here in this house as well. As because I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I get to see the new catalogue ahead of time. So I've just been chatting to my buddies about that. So sorry I'm late. So I'm not going to be on too late tonight, guys, because um, I've got a bed to go to. But anyway, hello and welcome. Thank you for coming in and watching. Hope you are all well. And um, welcome to everyone in the chat as well. Oh, thank you, Linda. Hi, Martina. Yes, good morning, Martina. Uh, Jane, Mindy, uh, Glenna, Anne, Valerie, Lorraine, Sue, Susan, Sheila, Roberta, Laurie, Mary. Fabulous. Lovely to see you all. Okay. Oh, my YouTube is now working on Chrome. Wow, there we go. There's a thing. Right, so I did hint at what I was going to do this evening. Uh, last night I taught my white ink class, which was super fun. And during that class, I stamped this paper. Uh, I'm not going to be recreating this, because if you want to learn how to do that, you need to come to class. But uh, during the class, I had a little play. Or, we, or there was somebody who stamped something and then we, we needed to add something else and it gave us an idea and blah, blah, blah. So I thought I'd share that with you today. Now, uh, we've just seen what's staying, what's leaving. Uh, colour and contour is staying. Yay! Uh, but all things fabulous is leaving us. So sad to say, but um, it's a lovely stamp set. Um, I've really enjoyed stamping with it while it's been with us. And get it while it's reduced. That's all I can say. It's, I think it's, I don't know, I think it was reduced to about £10 when I looked. Let me have a quick look. All things fabulous. If it hasn't sold out already, all, uh, all things fabulous stamp set. Let's have a look. Just double check how much it is. £12! <gasps> You see, I'd pay £12 just for that stamp there. <laughs> That's how much I love it. Um, absolutely fabulous. Gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set, this. Beautiful. A little bit shocked it's going, actually. But anyway. So when I talk about it's going, what I mean is that uh, it's available while stocks last. And until, and if stocks do last out. But seeing as I put... A, put it on for sale. I don't think it will last very long. Um, it will be available until the end of April. So we've got a new catalogue coming on the 3rd of May. So sorry, 2nd of May. 2nd of May is the last day. Right. Hello. Hello, Barbara. Barbara Bade Bademian. Did I say that right? Barbara, welcome so much. Welcome so much. Sorry, I'm in. I am tired, so I will be getting my words muddled up. First time live. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, everyone. Ah, oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Ten k, ten k. Right. So, uh, let's stamp. There. So this is balmy blue cardstock and I'm just stamping balmy blue on balmy blue. And just doing a kind of random pattern. I'm not really going to overthink this one too much because I'm going to be stamping some pretty leaves. I didn't push down hard enough. This is what happens when you don't push down hard enough on your stamp. It doesn't it, The ink doesn't transfer properly. Give it now. This I think has been re-inked recently. My balmy blue, so it's quite. Oh, I didn't push down that on that either. What happened there? Oh well. Just have to 
Concentrate, Ruth. Come on. There we go. That's better. Okay, so that's balmy gone down. Oh, I've seen the new ink colours as well. Oh, those look good. Now I've just got to figure out which one I need next. So on, for those of you who haven't got this stamp set, Stampin' Up! are very helpfully put little symbols next to the stamps to show which one matches which stamp set. So this is the one that goes over this one. I'm not sure whether to go in with Pacific Point. I might just try what it see what it's like with the balmy to see if it if it comes out dark enough. Oh yes, that's fine. Because I, I just want it quite subtle. I don't I don't, don't want it too strong. Okay, sorry. This is just going to take me a couple of seconds to do this. Well. Slightly under exaggerating for a couple of minutes. I'll try and do it as quickly as possible, but you do need to sort of take your time with this because you're trying to line it up. So it's a three step stamping set, actually. I'm not going to do the three step tonight because I don't think my brain can cope. But um, if you do take your time with it, it, it is a lovely, lovely, lovely set. Okay, so that's my second lot of balmy blue gone down. Then, um, do you know whether to use some of those? Hmm. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to use that one. What I did want to do though was get some of these leaves down in, ooh, maybe pear pizzazz. We'll see what that's like against the balmy blue. So the thing you have to remember, when you're stamping onto coloured cardstock, the colours don't really show themselves as true colours. So it, it's in one sense, it's quite scary because you're like, oh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. But in another sense, it's quite exciting as well. So Now, this leaf doesn't actually have much kind of, it doesn't have a lot of flow to it. So I don't want to overuse this one. I just want to get a base of green down because I'm going to be adding lots more green in a second. But I just wanted to get this sort of base of leaves in here. So tucking this in. Hi, Serene. Hi, Jan. Oh, thank you. I know I've got to now start planning what I'm going to do to properly celebrate 10K. Now, I, I'm already got a busy sort of few weeks I've got a class if anyone's interested I've got a class on Friday doing the wreath uh, wreath stamping so if anyone wants to join me for that I have spaces for that so it'd be seven o'clock my time so if you look if you look at the clock it's now minus um four hours ish four and a, four hours and 20 minutes so um, if anyone's interested in doing that class with me, please let me know as soon as possible so I can get you booked into that. Okay, I'll just get a drink. Thanks, Linda. And right. I think I probably want to stamp some small flowers. Now, I think I might do that in Highland Heather. Hi Kelly. <laughs> Making pikelets for lunch with jam and cream. Oh right, well I need to tell you about my day guys. So after my class last night, um I didn't I know I didn't go live last night because Est Esther was going live and I just needed I needed to get on with some baking. So I have a really sweet friend who turns 50 tomorrow and 
um, we'd arranged for me to go to her place for lunch. And I think I might have told you about her. She's She lives in a really interesting place. Basically, her and her partner bought an old church many, many years ago. And they basically saved the building, even because the, the building wasn't being used as a church anymore. So it's a very traditional Anglican church. And she's they've done so much work, like renovating it and making sure that the building is sound like they they sorted out a lot of the guttering and the roof and to make sure no further damage was caused by you know rainwater and so on she learned how to like limestone um plaster so that they would use things that would have been traditional to the building um they've yeah they've done loads of things but it's also where they live so they've made a pop the tower end of the church into their dwelling um anyway so she's she's a really inspirational lady and you can look up her blog and follow the story anyway so uh she said oh come over for lunch and then i said oh, was anything i could bring so i i did some baking so i baked uh chocolate brownies last night with um a bit of peanut butter in them and then I baked some oat and, um, oh, what were they? Oat and apricot biscuits. Now I want to add some more green, but I'm not quite sure. Hmm. I think I might just get out forever fern. Sorry, bear with. Hold on, I just need to grab it. Now I need to eat my hat. I thought forever fern might be going, but it's not. And shaded summer, that's not going either. Um, oh, and I also thought jar of flowers was going to be going, and that's not, it's staying. I'm in shock. Yes, yeah, so then um, I got up this morning because I felt, oh, I just wanted to bake something else, so I baked some scones very quick and easy in the food processor super de duper easy Ten thousand people found the queen of one sheet wonders thank you <laughs> oh just think who's coming hi kelly mary nina karen jan Kathy, oh, hot cross buns. Oh yes, it's the season for hot cross buns now, isn't it? Yay. Ooh, I quite like that in there. Let's just do some second generation. Okay. Yeah, so she, I went to hers for lunch and she'd baked uh, an onion quiche or flan I guess you might call it so it's a pastry base and then she put a mixture of I think it was sour cream she said and egg and onions and uh, that was delicious and the weather here has been gorgeous today like I would normally not go outside without a coat but today I went out with a cardigan I had to go and meet somebody I went out in a cardigan and got so hot I took my cardigan off so we literally were sat outside and I'm wearing a t-shirt with a dress over it and that I was warm enough today which is really lovely so yeah we just sort of caught up and which was lovely to do after the last couple of years we've had And I'm recovering from, oh yes, I haven't told you about Tuesday. So it was Wendy on here. So I spent most of the day with Wendy uh, at this event. So, right. Is someone asking a question? No. Oh, okay. Uh, how many people retirement list? I haven't checked. I haven't counted yet. 
Darlene. I haven't properly gone through them all yet. I'm not counting things in the mini catalogue because the mini catalogue is still with us until June. So I'm not even going to, you know, as far as I'm concerned, items that are in the mini catalogue, they're still with us. So I'm not, um, I'm, I'm only going to count the things that are leaving us from the annual. Um, thank you, Jan. That's very kind of you. Very sweet comment. Okay. Uh, anything else? I might just pop a little bit of green in there. Just a little sprinkle. A little bit there. There we go. Yes, yeah, so Tuesday was spent with um amazing group of people, people who care for their loved ones, at, you know, at home, then unpaid carers. And it was a gorgeous like pamper day put on for them. And yeah, it was fab. So we created this massive canvas with flowers on it. Right, I'm just trying to find a lift another flower to go in here. Flowers. Now this one is going, unfortunately, celebrate the flowers. Hi, Monica. Oh, out of the 14, I will count in a second. Yeah, that's sorry, Lisa. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look because I've got them piled up. Well, this one was one of them and this is definitely going. Right, I want to put in some Pacific Point into this now. So I am coming to the white ink. I know I've been going on about, I'm going to use white ink. I'm coming to it in a, in a, in a minute. So let's pop some of these flowers in here. Right, I'm just going to take these off the mats. When you stamp with the red rubber and a mat, it does just doesn't work out as well. You actually need that... Um, see look much better now so with the red rubber you don't need the mat and with the photopolymer you do need the mat Yeah, so please ask again. Darlene, if I've missed a question, just ask again. Sorry, I, my head is down most of the time and I, only, I glance up. And if the question's already shooted up, um, unless I scroll back. So please don't take it personally if I miss a comment or a question or something. Try um, doing it in capital. Sometimes I just shout. Basically, just shout at me. You'll be fine. I don't mind at all. Or you could just call me up. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Nice to see you. Hi, Sherlock. So now I've allowed that balmy blue to set in, it's not as bright as it was. So I'm wondering whether it would be a good idea to do the third generation, which I did say I wasn't going to do. But um, this goes just goes to show that sometimes uh, you, you can think something's going to work and then it doesn't. So it's OK to change your mind. All right. And, and I... I I think that's good in life as well sometimes to realise that sometimes things don't work out how you think they're going to work out and it's okay just to go, you know what, I'm going to try something different. Um, life, life is like that. So, oh, oh, thank you, Susan. No, you go to sleep, my darling. Yes, lots of love. Right, shall I go back and... see what the question was? How many... Oh, oh, the question about my retirement thing. Yeah, I got it now. Right. Um...
very confused as to which one this week. I've got this right. Oh no, it's that one. I was getting really confused then. It's that one, isn't it, that goes on there? Right, bring the mats back. Sorry about this, guys. What happens when Ruth changes her mind? Oh, is that too bright now? Let's stamp off. I'll stamp off. That's better. I find that's a bit too dark, but the stamped off Pacific point is, I think, just, just perfect. Wow, Vicky. Right, so now, <laughs> finally, I'm going to use the white ink. And the idea is to... I've got one out already. Oh, actually, before I use the white ink, I'm going to use this. So this is from Hand Penned Petals, which is staying. Yay. Now count up how many new ones are coming, Vicky. Because that will put a smile to your face. Love this little stamp. It's so, so nice. No, it probably is, Vicky. You're not counting stuff in the mini, are you? I'm not counting retirement stuff in the mini at all. As far as I'm concerned, it's not retired. It's got three months to go yet. Hmm. So satisfying. I like that one. Right. Oh. Right now, I did check, uh, so I can only vouch for the European warehouse, but we do have the white ink pad and, yeah, white, the, so the white ink pad comes in this, for, in this packaging now, and it comes uninked, so when you get it, you get it with a bottle of ink, and you, you use about half the bottle to ink up your pad. And so don't be afraid to do that. That is just, that is the way it is. That's how much ink you need. Right. Um, let me use that one first. So I've got my white ink pad here. Now, when you use the white ink pad, normally with the dye inks, you can maybe tap three or four times and you'll have enough ink on there. With this white ink, because it's pigment ink, you need to tap more. I would say about 10 to 15 times to get a first coating on that stamp and you need to make sure it's really bright white before you go to stamp with it. I'm just going to move my mats out of the way again because I don't need them and I'm going to stamp with um, the white ink now over some of the leaves that I've done. I just realised I don't actually want that stem on some of these. So this just creates the most pretty kind of ethereal looking leaves 
over the top of what I've already done. Almost looks like they've been touched by frost or a bit like they're skeleton leaves really. But look how pretty that is. If you plan on colouring an image, what colour ink do you stamp with? Uh, it all de depends what style of colouring you want to do, darling. So some people like a really dark outline, but there is a style of colouring in called no line colouring, where people stamp in a very, very, very light colour. So like very pale brown or pale grey and they colour in and they colour it right to the edge so it looks like it's not got any line whatsoever and so they use the stamp as a way of just having the image so it looks like it's all painted so it all depends what look you want to go for now some people find black rather harsh so they would perhaps use a dark grey or early espresso is quite Quite nice to use if you don't want a really dark outline uh, and then if if something perhaps is i don't know sea themed you might stamp it in a dark blue so it, it can all depend on the subject matter sometimes so. hi maureen hi melanie um it's now 20 to 12 at night in the uk currently but i i'm not usually on this late it's just because the new catalogue launched and I've been chatting to my team. So I'm, I'm, I'm late tonight. Right, I'm just also adding some white in areas where there's no leaves because I just love that against the blue. So pretty. Yeah, look, I can stamp three times. I'm still getting white off that. Right, Matt's coming back in again. And this time I've got that lovely blobby stamp from Hand Penned Petals. I will go through all the stamp sets at the end. Although I don't, I don't know where my packaging for that's gone. It's now somewhere. Okay, so I'm just adding white now to the tops of these now i i kind of refer to these as cow parsley but there's lots of different i think plants that have got this look so call it what you will hi vanessa have you reached your destination Now I'm doing all this white around the edges, really, of the flower centres. So I am thinking, what can I add to sort of the, around the middles? I wonder whether I could use that white flower from Celebrate Sunflower, uh, Celebrate with Flowers, just to do some little white flowers mingled in, and then possibly some dotage as well, because we have got forever fern here on my jet on my desk, so. That could work. Right, so have I done it for all of these now? Do, 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 quick check. Do, 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 do. Yes, I've done it. Right. So where's celebrate with flowers gone? Yeah, that wee little white, sorry, little, little flower would look lovely in white, I think. So we'll do a few of those. So who's a fan of the white ink? I know some, some people say they do have problems getting it to work well for them, but I think it's all about just tap, 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 make sure it's completely coated. And then once you've done that, because you've already got that coating on there, it, you don't have to tap so many times afterwards. You can just go back to doing the three taps and it kind of works. So this is where I'm looking for perhaps some boo-boos that I might have made in that 
I've got a stem that doesn't quite reach to the flower there or if the stem has gone over the flower and I want to kind of disguise it a little bit so this is what I do with the smaller flowers now to kind of hide any little mistakes I may have made and then also just to just sprinkle them around the place where they can be seen. So, isn't the white detail lovely? Oh, white chalk markers leaving us. I'm in shock about that too. I am surprised. But then I don't see, I always say this, I don't see the sales figure sheets, you know? The, the people at Stampin' Up, they get to see the actual sales figures. So sometimes we can be shocked about a product going, but then we're not the ones having to balance the books at the end of the day. So Now, what I love about this process, about stamping the white on top of some already existing stamping, can you see that where the white has gone on top of the purple, it's kind of gone like a light, light, like pinky purple so I quite like that right that's done let's shall we go in with a dotage now are we ready are you holding on everyone mm. no Darlene white embossing powder is definitely stronger it just takes up a lot of time like you know yeah it would take up time but I actually quite like for this piece I actually wanted it more ethereal so I didn't want it to be too strong right Glenn is ready Do you want me to come a bit closer? If you're in a hurry and you're like, it's quite trendy to stamp white onto, say, a black piece of cardstock to do a sentiment. If as long as you ink up your stamp really well, then there's no reason why you can't do that. But the thing is then you have to wait for this stuff to dry. It dries quite slowly. So you're going to have to get your heat tool out anyway to dry it. So you may as well have done it in the white embossing powder. So, um, yeah, I think the thing to remember is this is an ink. So, and it's a slow drying ink. And the reason it's slow drying is because it's pigment and, and therefore that's what enables it to sit on top of the cardstock as opposed to soak into the cardstock. So, it's about understanding a little bit about the science of it and treating it accordingly, really. OK, now, while I was doing that, or just before I did that, I remembered that there is that lovely little berry like stamp in here. And I still haven't found that one. There it is. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be sweet just to stamp a few of these? Oh, you have Deborah. Oh, good. Yeah. Have you, is it reduced where you are? Are you are you in the UK, Deborah? I can't, can never remember where everyone is. Sorry. Oh no, the questions are good, Darlene. That's fine. No, it's good to ask questions because I forget to tell people things sometimes. I. Um, because sometimes on my channel I go, oh, I've told people this before. I don't need to say it again. But no, I do because I, I'm getting new viewers all the time who perhaps don't know these things. So it is good for you to ask questions.
Oh, this is so cute. I love this little texture. This is very addictive. This little stump. Right, I am going to stop there. I'm very satisfied with that. It's very sweet and pretty. It will make very, very nice cards. Oh, sorry. Out of, out of the screen. There we go. Almost looks like embossed vellum on top of the One Sheet Wonder. Oh, yes. Yeah, I just used up... Oh, Mixed up a white for use in an empty wing pastella brush. Oh, that's a great idea, Martina. Hi, Deborah Yanis. Lovely to see you. Long time no see. Thank you, Serene. Lovely to see you as well. It's been a wee while. Right, if you've got any questions, do ask them now. So you did ask me earlier, out of the stamp sets that I pulled out of my shelf earlier on in the day, which ones are going and... Right, so the ones I thought would go were Love of Leaves. I think that, that is going, isn't it? Brave a sigh. Yep, it's going. Positive Thoughts. Yep. Perfectly plaid. Yeah. Painted poppies. I was wrong. That's staying. Jar of flowers. That is staying. Celebrate sunflowers. Oops, sorry. Uh, that's staying. Uh, moments of... Uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called. What is that in English? Anyway, that's staying. Birds and branches is going. Blossoms and blooms going. Selling homes going. Shading some is staying. Daisy Lane. Now, there is stamp sets on my shelf that are going, but these were the ones that I just pulled out really quickly earlier. So, comparing them, uh, I got two, four, five wrong. Two, four, six, eight, correct. <laughs> So there we go. Oh, and Forever Fern. I thought that was going to go, but that's staying. So there we go. Funny that. So you will see me using the ones that are going a little bit more often over the next month because I just want to show you their potential in case you were not sure about purchasing them. So thank you, Lisa. You're surprised. I'm surprised that Stitchery is staying, but I'm really pleased that it is staying. Yeah. Yes, we're safe with Forever Fern. I Now, the thing that has struck me about the new catalogue, obviously I'm not allowed to show it to you, but I can talk about it, is the amount of foliage that's coming. There is some really beautiful leaves. I mean, there's some lovely flowers as well. But I was really struck by, there's a couple of sets that's very foliage based. Oh, and one of them, uh, one of the th items that are available is where, you know, there's embossing folders and then you can have, there's dies that cut out a piece and that you put in the embossing folder to emboss it. There's a leaf set like that so really looking forward to basically having embossed leaves that's really exciting so lots lots of fun things but anyway um after the excitement of this today um i'm i'm gonna gonna try not to talk too much about the stuff that's coming because at the end of the day there's still plenty in the catalogue that's fun to use i mean this just goes to show even tonight like i've never done a one sheet ones are like this before and it kind of the idea got birthed out of uh, a class and and someone said oh I don't like how this looks so I suggest made a suggestion uh stamping the white ink and it just worked so I thought yes I'm going to share that with you guys so there we go I would always keep my very Versailles I think I will too actually yeah 
I didn't see the sunflower die set. Yeah, it's Ma it's in there, Mary. Oh yes, and there's a koala. Yeah, it's adorable. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, really cute. Right, so um, I'm trying to think what else I've got to tell you. Wreath class on Friday. If anyone wants to come to that, um. Um, yeah, I've got four people booked on that so far. So if there's more, that would be great. Um, I'll be sending out the PayPal info for that. Actually, I might do that now for the four people that have booked on. I will do that now. Uh, now, tomorrow, I'm going to be celebrating. Lots of celebrations going on at the moment. Um, I'm going to be celebrating five years ago of my first... I think it's my first one sheet wonder video yeah no ribbon in the in colors i thought i thought there were mary i'm gonna have a quick look now Let's see if i can find the ribbon page quickly uh yeah so five years i think i think i've written this down correctly of um stamped one sheet wonders yeah, there's there's metallic woven ribbon, Mary, on page one four six, and there's baker's twine as well. It's not the thickest of ribbon, I will say that it's it's quite fine. So it's yeah, hmm. but yes, it's not what I would call proper ribbon. But there is it is there. There we go. Um, Brian says it's very nice don't add any more okay Brian I won't I listen to Brian hi Bob 10,000 <laughs> I know I know how exciting so thank you thank you thank you guys if it wasn't for all 10,000 of you no, not quite all 10,000 but if it wasn't for people discovering me keep sharing with their friends subscribing I wouldn't be able to do this so I'm so blessed to be able to do this as a job and now be earning some pennies from it that you know means that I can keep keep going with it so it's all good so thank you, thank you. Mwah, 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 mwah. Uh, Brian is a subscriber now. I know Brian. You can, you can, you can actually, you know, reply without through, you know, by yourself. You don't have to go through Vicky anymore, Brian. Can you imagine all ten thousand people on live chat and thumbs? I know that would be cool. Well, as I said a few weeks ago, the plan is to do a ten-hour marathon YouTube to celebrate 10,000 and try and do some fundraising. So um, I, I've got a feeling that's not going to happen until May time because I've got a bit of a busy April. Now, I will say also that I'm going to be announcing the Spring Fair competition, the online Spring Fair competition soon. So that is going to kick off in April. So you'll have a month to get some entries in for that. And um, I'm asking people to donate a pound or a dollar uh, per entry. Um, you don't win anything physical, apart from maybe a card from me, but um, it's it goes to charity and is also the fun of taking part. So um, I'm going to get that all set up for April. You quickly have to get the sailing home stamp set. Okay, Martina. <laughs> oh, I've just realised poinsettia petals has retired, hasn't it? That's going. Oh, well. Right. Thank you all very, very much. And let's go over the colours now. So to stamp this, I used... Balmy Blue cardstock, so that's my base. Balmy Blue ink with Pear Pizzazz, Highland Heather, 
Old Olive and Pacific Point and then also the pigment, the white pigment ink. Okay, so what we've got two blues, two greens and a purple there. Now, I think if I'd had more time, I probably would have stamped maybe Gorgeous Grape inside these flowers. So you could do that. So basically two purples, two greens, two blues and the, whisper, uh, the basic white. Then stamp sets are used All Things Fabulous beautiful set and used that that flower that set there I didn't end up using the leaves which I could have done but didn't uh forever fern which oh so all things fabulous forever fern Celebrate with flowers and hand penned petals, which I don't seem to have near my desk right now. But anyway, that stamp comes from hand penned petals. So there was four. Four things like this, that one, and hand penned petals. All right. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Heidi Solinsky. Thank you. Yes, do watch the replay. Lovely to see you. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, morning, evening, wherever you are. I'm off to the land of Nod. <laughs> Bye now.